Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see a Selenium Hello World program in Robo framework using Visual Studio Code. So as a prerequisite of this video, you must have installed Python, Visual Studio Code and uh, Robo framework. If you do not have it, please refer the video mentioned over here. Click on this I button. Uh, once you do that, uh, in this video, we are going to install Selenium library, which is a prerequisite for our Hello World program. And then we are going to download Chrome driver and then we will execute a simple Hello World program uh, for Selenium in Visual Studio Code. All right, uh, so then let's go to command prompt. Say pip list. I'll be mentioning these commands uh, in the description of this video. Pip list will show all the uh, installed libraries or Python packages on your computer. Now you want to install pip install robo framework. Then you need to install Robo Framework Selenium Library. Now say pip list. You'll see new libraries are installed and your uh, setup is ready. Now go to Chrome to download Chrome Driver. Say download Chrome Driver. Make sure you're using authentic website to download Chrome driver. Before you download it, you must know the version of your Chrome that you're using. Go to help and say about Chrome. Here you'll see the version. And after confirming this version, download the suitable driver from here, over here. Select the required platform. Extract this file, you'll get the exe and you need to keep this exe uh, in the execution path of uh, your program. So for simplicity, I'll just uh, copy this file and uh, I have created a folder on this computer to save this program. Here I'll be saving the program so I'll uh, save the robo uh, chrome driver in this uh, folder only for simplicity and then let's open uh, visual studio code create a new file okay i need to write some test cases over here right so The extension must be dot robo. Okay, uh, this is my first test in which I'll be writing open browser. Okay, but uh, this open browser is part of Selenium library. So you, before you use open browser keyword, you'll have to import Selenium library. All the imports in Robo framework are stored in this section, settings. Inside settings, you'll have to say library and then four spaces and then specify the library name. Correct. After open browser, give four spaces, one, two, three, four, and type the URL that you want to open. In our case, it's HTTP, 
google.com and you want to open it in chrome browser right here you'll uh, pass the browser name and then you'll wait for say three seconds and then close browser this is a simple program first we will run it from the command prompt so right click on this uh, file and say reveal in file explorer here you will say command and type robo hello world dot robo and this should launch chrome browser and open google.com all right it will wait for three seconds and it will close the browser looks like something is wrong three seconds okay uh, we we need to put some spaces here one two three four okay now it will run Yeah, after three seconds, it closed the browser. All right. Now we'll modify this program a bit. We need to input text uh, to the input field on Google. Here, what is the text you want to input? Say, uh, hi Google. Okay. And the look to find the locator let's open Google right click on this uh, input box say inspect you need to find the X path of this element right so go through this tag and find out the unique attribute by using which it can this element can be identified yeah uh, you say control F and say st uh, sorry uh, i want to find all the elements which have attribute name and names value should be equal to q see this is how you can find the uh, elements uniquely so this was a simple x path which we, we are using in our program but if you need a detailed explanation over here, just let me know in comment section and I'll create a different tutorial to explain X paths in deep. All right, friends. So this will uh, input the text. Hi, Google. And then it will sleep for three seconds and then it will close the browser. Now let's try to run this program. This time we are, we are going to run it through Visual Studio Code. Here is a run button. Just click on it. It will open Google. and it worked all right our test case is passed now just to see the generated logs go to your execution directory and here you can see uh, very impressive logs that are created by robo framework let's go back to our ppt friends if this video helped you subscribe to this channel and like this video and let me know in comment section what about what you think about this video uh, any new videos you want to see on this channel or any improvement suggestions everything is welcome thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye